Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another journal with me video. And here I'm just flipping through my insert to the page that I want to set up today. And if any of you who is curious, this insert is from Chic Sparrow. I've been hoarding it for I think a year or two now. So another new resolution of mine is to use up all the inserts that I have before I buy a new one. And here I'm just going through some of this pre-printed uh, vintage paper from different packs so that I can have some color variations in my collage. Next I'm going to take out this calligraphy like uh, mini paper pad. Actually it's not paper pad, it's sticker paper. I didn't know it when I, buy, when I bought it. But after I received it, then I noticed that it's actually a sticker paper. And next, I'm gonna take out my vintage paper collection, which I've punched and put them in these two big files so that I can flip through them easily. But the problem I have with hoarding vintage paper is a manifestation of silver fish. It's actually not manifestation, that it will have like one or two here and there. Just that you know, you still get a shock when you open up the files and you see a silver fish here and there. <laughs> yep. But this is the problem I have to deal with for staying or living in the wettest city in my country. Yep. So I have silver fish problem with my vintage paper and more problem with my wooden pack stamp. <laughs> well, anyway, back to my journal with me, and here I'm just tearing out papers and moving them around to see how I want my collage to be. So after I'm happy with how I want them to be, I will put them down with my glue stick or glue tape. And I think uh, for those of you who have been following me will know that uh, this period is like the Chinese New Year season and we've just celebrated it like uh, last week or last two weeks ago. Sorry, my memory is really bad nowadays. Uh, two weeks ago, yep. And today is the 15th day of the lunar month, the first lunar month. So it actually marks the end of Chinese New Year celebration. Yeah, we celebrated it for 15 days traditionally. So the 15th of the lunar month is the end of the celebration for Chinese New Year. And there'll be events for the fifth, on the 15th day actually for single people they will go to the riverside or a pond or somewhere with water I guess not the sea though and they will bring the mandarin oranges and they will write their name and their telephone number on the oranges and they will throw it into the into the river or into the pond and the guys will actually you know go out into the water with boats to pick up the mandarin oranges and if they are interested they can call the number on the orange <laughs> so that's actually a tradition um we still do that today just but it's for fun i guess i've never done that before <laughs> and since i'm married now so i i can't do it anymore but it's still fun to to see people doing it i mean yeah <laughs> well anyway back to my journal with me these are a set of stamps that I recently got from my local stamp seller and I did an unboxing for that. So if you guys are interested, you can uh, go to my unboxing video to uh, have a, uh, I mean, a more detailed look at these stamps. I really, really love them. They're postage team stamps by the way. And here I'm taking another wording stamp to stamp down this uh, calligraphy paper. And next, I wanted to put some sticker on it, so I grabbed my sticker book and I'm flipping through the floral washi tape to find a, um, a matching size or a, a size that can I can put into that small calligraphy paper. And also, I need the color to be matched as well. So I think I end up using the red one, yeah, that one. So I'm just going to cut out that floral sticker or floral washi to, and then I will trim it down so that I can put it in my calligraphy paper. I did it off camera, of course. <laughs> you need some skills to cut out the, you know, the, the floral from the washi, the whole washi tape. Yeah. And I 
ha I'm happy at how it look turns out. So I'm gonna put down this vintage ticket, which I got from I think Miss Fish, long long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna put that down and to form part of the collage before I put down the calligraphy paper. There we go. Uh, but before I do anything, I wanted to punch a hole on the calligraphy paper and I thought I wanted to use this Frisca heart shape punch but when I try to punch it on top, the shape is actually upside down so I changed to this star shape punch instead these two punches I bought together from my local spotlight shop and it was on sale so that's why I got them else I wouldn't have I wouldn't get them I wouldn't buy them because I have a lot of punches now I think it looks cute so I'm gonna put through a string and here, I'm so sorry guys, I thought I paused the video, but I didn't. And when I, I went off to do something, I think to, to drink a cup of water or something, and when I came back, I hit the pause button thinking that I was starting my video again, but instead I've paused it. So it's, you know, it's, it's the other way around. And, and the next thing you'll see is I've already tied the string to the star-shaped punch hole. And I was about to put the calligraphy paper down. There we go. <laughs> but sometimes this happens quite often. I wouldn't say quite often, yeah, but sometimes it does happen because you know I do pause a lot when I record my journal with me video. I do not want my video to be too long, so uh, on certain processes that I know is gonna take some time, I'll pause it and I will complete that process before I restart my video again. And sometimes you know I pause and start, pause and start, and it sort of got confused. I I got confused actually. <laughs> so anyway, I'm using this Tim Holtz butterfly specimen stamp to stamp on this a piece of this. Uh, it's not glassine paper, I guess vellum paper. Yep. And I'm gonna use, of course, my stays on stamp ink pad. Sorry, not stamp ink pad. And the color is the brown color. I think it's called the ganache or spice char. Ganache. Ganache. G A N A C H E. Is it pronounced as ganache? I think so. Anyway, I like how it turned out. So I trimmed the paper and I'm gonna tear a bit on the top. And I'm gonna put it down as a part of my you know, collage or layering, paper layering. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue tape on top so that you know it will stay put. Well, normally I'll use like a washi tape or the dot sticker to 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 put it down. But then, because this piece of paper is too big, so I felt that the sticker won't be able to hold it down. So I I will normally put some glue tape on top. Yeah, there we go. Next, on my right hand spread. I'm gonna create another small collage uh, at the bottom of my uh, spread, and I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna create a receipt using the stem that I have. So this is a stem that I got from Taobao. I think it's a receipt stem. Yeah. I think it looks gorgeous, and I'm gonna cut it out with my favorite scissor, the zigzag scissor. But before that. I'm going to do, use some coffee stain stamp to stamp on this receipt. This coffee stain stamp comes together with the receipt. I mean you can buy it together. It's actually a set or you can buy them individually. But I think they are so cute so I got them together. And the ink pad I I'm using is from Sachi Hata. So I'm happy at how it turns out. So here comes my zigzag scissor. I love to use my zigzag scissor to create like uh, receipts or vintage tickets. I think it looks awesome and postage stamp as well. Yep. Voila! I think it looks cute. And here I wanted to have a background for this receipt. So I'm gonna tear out a piece of this. I'm not sure what paper is this, but I love it. I love the texture, I love the color, and I have like tons of it. 
That's why the silverfish love to come to my place. <laughs> I have tons of paper. And I'm gonna put down this frame uh, paper as well. It's not a sticker. It's a frame paper pad. After I'm happy at how it looks, I will put everything down again with my glue stick or glue tape. So I hope you guys have been enjoying whatever you are doing and I hope that the pandemic at your area has been improving. Uh, my place is... Mm, I'm not too sure whether I should say it's improving or not. But our school is going to restart soon. I mean, my son has been studying online, of course, but they are going to go back to school physically next Monday. I'm still a bit worried though. Hopefully everything will turn out okay. And here I am just going to put down this uh, plant specimen stand. Again, on this um, glassine or vellum paper. And I'm gonna cut it out. And here we go. And I'm gonna put it down with again my glue tape. And I think we're done. Yes, we're done. Oh, I'm just gonna put down a piece of washi tape on top, I think. Yep, to. to to show, you know, to have the feel that it was stuck on by washi tape. <laughs> yep, that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And until, until I see you guys again, please take care, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy and stay happy. Again, thank you guys. See you.